the I want to do the I want to Can you help me out with something? Can you help me get my school that says me t-shirt? Where's your phone? Folder. There. Folder. Two vex paper in the building. Oh my god. <laughs> they have come to monitor the butterfly catchers. Let us try. Don't kill yourself, fool. Lagos people. <laughs> Lagos talks. He doesn't have the right people training him. And that puts a big question mark on that institution. On 91.3. <laughs> Where is it? 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 This wasn't our fault. Hello, my country people. She's the nice one, always trying to keep him out of trouble. <laughs> oh, no, don't say that. These two are on a mission to be the voice of the people. Lagos, are you ready? The Big Bird has landed. This is Nashio and Nicola Bokuti. And I'm Ifunanya. Join us every Friday, 11 a.m. to 12 noon on our brand new show. If I open this my mouth here, eh, all table scatter. <sighs> Father, help us all. Speak on. Dr. Shiwakuti and Ify on the People's Perspective every Friday, 11 a.m. to 12 noon on Lagos Talks 91.3. Okay. A very good morning. First off, apologies because I know you've just been sitting there waiting for People's Perspective. First off, apologies. Good morning. Welcome to the Midday Show with me, Fanaya. Here on Lagos Talks 91.3. Of course, in the studio with me right now is my unequivocal co-host, Sheon Anikula Fokuti. Hello, everybody. How are you doing, my Lagos people? Very happy to be here with you this Friday, especially since it's one year. 
It's one year, guys. One year. Go, you know what? That's so weird because we've been disturbing the airways. It doesn't seem like it's been one year. The time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, yeah. it actually And does, I tell you when you can look at Ify every day for, for you know, every week for one year. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. that's another blessing. It adds use. Exactly. It, it renews. You know, it, it, it rejuvenates. It rejuvenates. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about rejuvenation and youth, mm, mm, mm. before we start the show, she tell them the uh, she tell them the about the powers that be. Okay. The power behind us. Indeed. You know, behind us. Y- yes, now making us uh, keeping us on the air. Okay. Oh, definitely, Adam and Eve. <laughs> oh. The People's Perspective is brought to you by Adam and Eve, Nigeria's number one homeware oh, superstore. Shit. A tested and a trusted homeware service providing luxurious lifestyle products that reflects the class, style, and personality of their clientele by providing an extreme range of products to suit all tastes. I always say if you want to turn your house into a home, then you need to visit Adam and Eve. They will do it justice. They will bring your imaginations and your thoughts to life. They definitely would ask you questions um, to identify what really aligns with your taste and your expectations in order for them to bring to life what you ever so imagined. And you can visit them right here in Lagos in Ikeja. So please ensure that you get to them, tell them what exactly you need um, regarding your home and they will be there to provide it for you. Yes, and the feng shui. The feng shui. Don't forget the feng shui. You know, balance. (laughs) The balance. Balance is everything. Balance is everything. And you want to pick the right accents for the decor in your living room or your bedroom or your bedroom you know <laughs> or your man cave or your man cave indeed <laughs> indeed but thanks to adam and eve um of course uh, today's episode is brought to you by adam and eve all right guys let's move on to the stories that we're going to be touching on today we definitely have to uh talk about the uh, medical doctors going on strike as you know the national association of resident doctors are currently on strike and we did speak on this before the strike and also identified that the president was going to the uk for his regular medical checkups and the fact that Femi Adishino gave us a sound reason why the president keeps going to the UK for his medical checkup saying that for over 40 years the president has been using the same doctors you know they know um, his medical condition they know his history and so if you can't afford if you have it, one doctor don't strike, why not? our own doctors don't strike now okay. now we may, that one concern me <laughs> last week he, See, you know, say last week I said mm. we have to go and find a way for them to transfer the record. Mm. If it's because of record, mm-hmm. we have email. But have you had have yeah. that? But has now, there been any progress? Now, have they transferred the record? Now, I'm calling for a heist. Mm. Somebody has to go to that hospital for us, <laughs> break into the records, <laughs> steal our president's complete record, and bring it back home and give it to the Ministry of Health. <laughs> To send to the appropriate so hospital. It's going to be like the return of a national treasure uh, uh, with what Europe is doing with our exactly. heart attacks. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, last week. I was some of my friends are trying some big beanie men. You know, yeah. Came to try some my egg bones. Not my friend, but they're my cousin. Growing up with my dad, I had a lot of friends that were not my. You know, when I was ten, I had yes. friends that were thirty then. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm thirty-eight. <laughs> Imagine they're in their fifties. Yeah. So they came to my show and they were just there, but they were going to get some art- artifacts back and. I was like, stop begging these Europeans for this thing. Steal them if you can. Mm-mm. How did they get them? When they can't, I mean, when we steal it back, yeah, yeah. they will come and say, you stole it. Well, how did you take it? Yeah, how did you get to your own country? Yeah. <laughs> or buy it. The Chinese, they are not even arguing with the yeah. Europeans about what they've stolen in China. Back in the day. They just go now. Just, when they put it, we are buying What about those who are saying, um, since it came from us and the talent is within us, how about you recreate and remake? Uh, but you see, and, and forget about the ones that have been stolen. The consciousness that created that art mm. has been all but wiped out. Those arts is tied to our originality, is tied to our original consciousness, linked to our original spiritual system. Yeah. You have to be in key with those spiritual systems to be inspired to make those images. Those images are what Nigerians today call evil images. True. I- idols. We call them idols. We call our own uh, inheritance idols, you know, and we wonder why we are where we are. But that's another story for another day. Mm. Resident doctors on strike and yeah. Abutija Kurulabuja. 
Please, can you interpret what, the, what that means? I said Abu has absconded from Abu. Abuja. <laughs> <laughs> ja in Yoruba is to run. <laughs> so Abuja and our president is Bubu. Abubu mm. <laughs> has Ja from Abuja in the middle of third wave. Mm. Today, there's 526 new cases of COVID. We don't know if, if it's COVID-2 or COVID-19. Mm. We don't know yet. And doctors are on strike. President has run away to take care of himself. May his health be as good as that of his people. Mm. In the name of the ancestors. That's what we wish him. We wish him the same level of health that he wishes us. Exactly the same. Now, this is not the first time this is happening, is it? Where the doctors were threatening to go on strike. They went on president. strike. They went to beg them. Yes. Promised to give them their... Mm-hmm. So that means people are still not paid this people. Exactly. They are, they are not paid it's them. The but there's way. money for fuel inside presidential jets. This is, what is, this is what kills me about this country. The prioritization. What is priority to us? Well, we were filming yesterday. I was filming... Uh, let me not let the cat out of the bag. Game, I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. But I was filming somewhere, something... And I see these people, they've stolen all... In fact, and we wonder where there's so much flood. We are complaining. We think it's rain that is causing the flood. These people have stolen all the water. Which they turn it to land. Mm-hmm. In Lekki. They, and now, yes, the way I was... I mean, as far as the eye can see, they were sand filling mm-hmm. the lagoon. As far... Forget what they've done in the ocean mm-hmm. called... Equa- now, in the lagoon... What... These funds... Mm-hmm. Why can't they raise it towards national development instead of private uh, equity? Especially when... You understand? All these things they are doing belong to everybody. Mm. That they bring lagoon, that they, that they get lagoon. It's all that they get lagoon. Mm. I mean, I don't get it. Are they the owners of the crude oil? Did our ancestors put all these things in the ground for just a few people to be living like lords? Mm. This is what really aches me. You know, this is what kills me. Like, it's not as if people are that brilliant, mm. that you are innovative, that you are creating things that the world can buy. You people don't make anything. You can't even make anything. You can't even make enough notebooks for your own country to use in school. Enough, you have to import book. Toothpick, import. You can't make enough. You can't make even hangars. Hangars. Nigerians import hangars. Ajakuta steal me, more rebound for years because you are afraid to finish the deal with the Russians because America will be angry. That's all. The technology is Russia. And Nigeria cannot play with Russia. So that their daddy that dashes them money all the time for nonsense will, will not be angry. Nothing. <laughs> but president wants to go to England, they will fuel jets. Everybody will pack themselves inside. Three million naira a day to eat. That will not be short. Wow. Flowing constantly. Security vote flowing constantly. Mm. I'm tired of these people, man. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, please, if you'd like to join the conversation, let us know. Uh, 0809 I believe over the years, you know, the government constantly keeps reinforcing the fact that they do not value the lives of the people that they lead. And it's no surprise in as much as, yes, it definitely riles us up and it makes us angry. It, they, they have shown the same thing over and over again. No, it is ridiculous. I'm telling you, the way they run this country like a business. This is a country. It is not a business. This is a country. It is not a for-profit enterprise. It is a country with lives. Millions, hundreds of millions of lives at stake. These people act like those lives are people that they are, like, they are sacking people from the office, mm. you know, so all these 152 million people are people that they have sacked. Yeah. You know, that they don't, that, you mm. know, cannot work in the company. No. This is not how a country should work. You understand what I'm saying? So, me, I'm just completely... Because even the business opportunity, you see people making millions in different things that belong to the people, be it from the land, housing, farming, mm. uh, transportation, whatever, road networks, people to, um, to getting highways. When not as if we have enough roads, like, as if the highway is now like one luxury, that you have six... Uh, three routes to where you are going. Okay, we now build this private road that maybe is 10 minutes shorter. No, is the best and only option, but you have to pay for it. Yeah. I mean... All right, let's take a few calls. Lagos Talks, good morning. Who's speaking, please? Hey, good morning. Radio Butterfly. Yemi, Yemi, let me warn you first. 
Let me don't start to do like this. I'm angry. I will cut this call. No, no, we are not butterflying here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, I will enter this. I will enter this radio wave. I will come up with your phone. I will inbox our set. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Let me first bring the bell for you. Sir. They will let me listen to my darling. <laughs> they will kidnap you in Lagos. Yeah, you will care. Okay, continue. All right, Jeremy, welcome, welcome. Join the thank conversation. You. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, honestly, I am also really uh, outdrew. I'm really, really not happy at all. In fact, you have made me much further this morning. I was just going to listen a little bit to you uh, because what's going on in our place. They have now taken all our data to South Korea. That is what is going on. I don't know whether you guys are aware. And they are saying that South Korea is now going to be in charge of our NIN. Data is money. Data is security. Oh, uh, you don't we care. Have the best brains in, you know, a, a digital economy in this country. Our youth are fantastic. When it comes to, you know, a, the internet working. And we cannot give this to them. We have to now take it to South Korea with all the dangers of uh, transmitting information and so on. Yeah, but Yemi, you know the I'm problem with that is that yeah. Nigeria has not invested in the server to be able to hold this kind of amount of data. We don't have it. They don't want to invest in those things. It's just like when you look at this grazing, for example, open grazing. What is open grazing in 2021? It's because the owners of the cows don't want to invest in ranching. That's billion naira investment. In fact, can even go into hundreds of millions of dollars to create a proper modern ranch. Nobody wants to spend that kind of money, create that kind of job, because then they have to maintain it. it, it they have to go for real meetings. They have to do real work. Nobody wants to do real work here. They want to do the one that, uh, let's ship it out and be collecting 10% mm. from whoever we give the contract to. Yes, do you know why? The reason is because government wants to be, the people in government want to be in government, they want to be in business, and they want to be in household. They don't work that to work. Exactly. You know, so they want to hold everything. There is political capture and economic capture. And that is why you can see the implosion in those you know, parties now. Because it, they are houses built with people. And because they were built with people, they are going to be destroyed by the morning deal. Mm, so, facts. the marathon, facts. we know that we are not going, we are not running a sprint. But we will take over from them. Whether they like it or not, they all want to take over ourselves, our lives, and it will not be possible. Several roads, years down the road, we will take over our country. We get our country back. That is what it is. All right. Uh, God help us. Lagos Talks, good morning. Good morning. Lagos Talks, good morning. 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 Ah, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Buka, after two weeks, they arrest you. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, if it's not. This is a country. Uh, <laughs> Just like uh, lately, I've been on this blog house, you see this guy that's wearing guys that will just talk and talk and, you know, most of us need to wonder. I see on CNN, it's pretty fast, but even after I started talking about what's the fault, what's the fault, fire is even there, you know, I'm beating them in that side, you know, natural disasters, flooding, what's their name, vaccine, uh, Italy, something about you know, here in the country, too. So, all of these things, now did I see. Why they come with their own? One of the wrong goals is to say, can they find how to solve natural disasters and everything? But here, we have everything in order. Man, I think it's a Thank you. Thank you, Buka. All right, let's get on WhatsApp for a second. This is coming from uh, political therapist saying, Good morning, if you're unsure. We have leaders that is and cannot hear 
that have ears that cannot hear and nerves that cannot smell. God ah, bless Nigeria. I beg, you should not be leaders, they be rulers. A this big is coming difference. from Adigma Yigase. We have rulers. Um, Shebi Hoshpapi is revealing all their secrets. Those that are building houses on the ocean and the lagoons within and outside the countries in the name of private investors. And the truth is that these houses that they're building will be occupied by ants and cockroaches. We know the people of Nigeria, just like I know the verse, I see them building, you are the of the homeless people. When Nigeria, when the people of Nigeria take back their country, these are our homes. <laughs> it is our home. Uh, why would they, why should anybody above 18 still be living with their parents mm -hmm. when there's free house everywhere? So what, what are you suggesting, Shemo? Because that in itself is a crime. How you are crime? Um, getting into someone's property Which, how did the permission. property come about? I let's mean, but, investigate. But, uh, that, that's the thing. Uh, let's let's the get to the bottom of it. Take it to the court of law. Let's before get to the we bottom have the grounds it. to be able to we, we get trespass. to the bottom of it. How many houses they see only a uh, designer has in this Lagos? And uh, let's get to those houses. Let's start there. The one that is confirmed, we'll first start there. <laughs> uh, uh, then the one that will not confirm, will not confirm it and go there too. <laughs> what was that? See, it belongs, whether you like it or not, I've not seen anything in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that does not belong to the people of Nigeria. Everything everybody is living on, chopping, enjoying, drinking champagne, da, 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 is from the people of this country. It's from the exploitation mm -hmm. of the people of this country. Bar none. Bar none. Maybe 0.001% of Nigerian economy is free from the exploitation of these people. So at some point, whether they are foolish now or they are just not interested now, at some point, they will be. Maybe not them. Maybe their children. Maybe their children's children. But it will happen. It, uh, this system is unsustainable. Mm. We know it. We know it is already collapsing. Yeah. Yes, the only reason why Nigeria is holding up is because the professionals of Nigeria, I keep repeating it, are so aligned with the oppressor. Mm. They don't see any other way except that, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And they are, shun shun, they, they collect. Shun shun, they collect. Go holiday, come back. You know, everybody, they collect their own. That's it. The moment later they say, ah, we are not doing it again. The down tools. That's it. Mm. Um, I didn't break I also said, Shum, we need to address this urgent matter. Why is it that when Ibuka calls, if he keeps quiet on me, but when I let me call, she will call, he smile. I don't know. I don't know. Say, that is you know they hear your false. Me voice. When you hear your me voice, false, you, know false, you know that there's false. money. You know that there's money in that voice. Ebuka is calling for me. No, uh, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Right? <laughs> no, my my issue is that when Ebuka calls, Ebuka calls one too many times within the space of like maybe five Ebuka minutes. Ebuka is a passionate nationalist. Uh -uh. Ebuka, I let other people call. I mean, obviously call, but don't call like five times when other people are struggling to call. They got strong. How does he do it? That I don't. That's the thing. I don't know. He has different phones that he uses to call like the different like anyone. <laughs> there's a period. You know, there's a time where he called and I picked up after. I caught the call, like when we were done talking, and I picked up the other one. He was like, Oh, now me, the caller. And I have a police number as well. Lego Stocks, good morning. Who's speaking? Good morning. 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 Good <laughs> no, Yemi, Yemi has signed, he has signed his, he has signed our fight deal. Don't mind, don't mind Yemi. Hey, you, 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 don't mind the, see, don't Yemi, you, you, she said you don't get plenty of money before Lagos. Call it free, 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 you should be careful of that day. Oh my gosh, who's speaking? What's your name? Malik, okay, Malik, welcome. Let's hear you. Shell, Malik. You know the AB Cup and Welcome, the great office of people to cash out. Hmm. They abandon the citizens. Straight to. You know that you know, Sadi. Yes, now facts. Shell, before you say they should register their SIM card, you never thought of the data where you back it up. Uh, they knew already, see. No, that one they know already. No, no, no. We well, you know they knew. Okay, Shell. <laughs> when they did a uh, national identity ID card during our national time, we call lunch about three half times, right? Ah. They say, they say one drop. <laughs> where he drop? We don't see him. They call him go to lunch and again, no. <laughs> that money enter. That place will not be. <laughs> but, but we have banks that have data. 
we have DVN, right? Yeah. Why can't they go to agreement with those banks to back it up that to carry our own food and give to somebody else? Eh, uh, but you see, say if they go do and that, we have to go take job and I own. I understand. No, so we we understand. <laughs> the point. Something happened in Lagos that that pained me so much in a way that I'm like God, we don't move forward. The government of Lagos will choose to buy a vehicle, bought them from China, and we have nothing <coughs> like police cars. We empower them there. Then we are buying our own citizens here. Yes, we say we want to create jobs. Uh, you know know what? we get guns, we get bullets. We we'll look at ourselves, we we'll fire ourselves for Nigeria. <laughs> All right, Malik. Uh, thank you. Everybody don't be for let's this country. Take more calls. I didn't you. Lagos talks. Good morning, who's speaking? Hello, who's Good who's morning. Me? Good morning. I'm Good morning to you. Good morning. It is only you this morning I will greet. I will not greet you at all. Hey, no why? Why? You. <laughs> you know, you know, this is Ambassador Musa from Michigan. Alright, Ambassador. Um, <laughs> she will now become part of them. I call her three times. She will not be called. She will not be called. Uh, uh, you called him, like called his direct number or called, called us That's here. Not, that number is not people like this. It is not people. Why is he? 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 Why all the all the, they are not called the leaders, though. all these rulers, they are very weak. All they know is to stop money. They don't have any chance of this country at all. So, you know, Malaysia, you spark cameras, spark cameras. They come from Nigeria to most of the finance their project. They now have everything. Palm tree, coconut, you know that is. Only that is, you can make credits that use use of use of it that is not their project. You know that. Yeah. Can I do this? Hmm. Are you going to come up with money? Look, I only never looked into that because that money, or money, or money, or money, or money. They have a lot of money to spend. That is the reason why. Look, for me, at a time, we have rivers everywhere. We see important funding from Malaysia. Why? Yeah. Okay, look. Because it's somebody's business. It's somebody's business. But are we ready? I mean, I feel that. I, I feel that not these by, people not, are ready. Not, not by violence anymore. Not by violence. Not by protest. Look, we have to take over. You know, because there are a lot of ideas. They're not spending money. Billions, billions. I beg. Look, when do we take over? Honestly. Yes, I, Ambassador, don't worry. Come and join us in MOP. We are, we are working on that. All right, guys. Uh, let's move on to another story. Uh, that one is yet another very confusing situation that uh, Nigeria has found itself in. But before getting into that, remember that The People's Perspective is brought to you by Adam and Eve, uh, Nigeria's number one homeware superstore. It's Nigeria's foremost lifestyle store that's located in the heart of Ikeja Diari and it does provide luxury shopping products to Nigerians nationwide and what really is their vision? Their vision is to inspire luxury living defined by comfort, elegance and creativity and they do this by providing luxury lifestyle products with excellent and expert retail service in an inspiring space. Yeah, I agree completely. <laughs> I think that is a very accurate and uh, splendid way of explaining what Adam and Eve uh, do at uh, uh, their, their, their spa in GRA. I like that. But don't, you always forget to add Feng Shui. Feng Shui, sorry. Feng Shui. You have to keep reminding me about remind, that feng one. Shui. Feng Shui. Just, oh, please, please, Feng Shui. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Let's take a look at um, yet another embarrassing episode coming from our participation um, at the Olympics for this year. Uh, now, we did uh, find out uh, that there was some, so some sort of breach of contract between Nigeria and uh, Puma, which is a German sportswear manufacturing giant. And now we're hearing that there's a possibility that they are going to be suing the Athletics Federation of Nigeria and... The Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports. 
Now, the sportswear manufacturer had terminated the four-year contract in a letter dated Wednesday, the 4th of August, 2021, and it was signed by their company's uh, director, Manuel. And it was gathered that the Athletic Federation of Nigeria, under the leadership of Ibrahim Gusau, had entered into a controversial $2.76 million contract deal with Puma on the 24th of July in 2019. This was in Doha. Now, this deal led to a major crisis that split the athletics body into two factions, with both Gasau and uh, Adeleye accused of sidelining other members of the board during the signing of the deal. Now, this deal signed by Gasau led AFN was due to expire in 2022. Now, part of the contract is that Puma will support apply apparel to all age categories to Nigeria's athletics team for four years at no cost whatsoever. <laughs> now, in addition, gold medalists at the Olympic Games will earn $15,000. Silver medalists will get $5,000, whilst the bronze medalists will fetch um, about $3,000. And of course, these are the ones wearing the... Puma Tifuriko. What does that mean? Puma don't jamma. Okay. And so Puma is now saying that Nigeria breached provisions of their contract by not wearing the kits at the Tokyo 2020 um, Olympics. And of course, this you know created some sort of friction within the Athletics Federation of Nigeria with those in authority right now saying that they were not aware of the terms and the conditions and even the contract that was signed back in 2019 and because they're not aware of it all they know is that they're going to um uh, a forge ahead with another outfitter actually providing the athletes yeah. with their jersey for the olympics and of course when all this came to light and we uh, people were reminded about that contract that took place back in 2019 Puma has come out to say, well, you know what? We are possibly going to sue Nigeria for breach of contract. And of course, this is, for a lot of people, yet you know, another embarrassing episode. Coming Nigerians from have short-term memory span. Go and Google Kodak and JVC during all African games. We will collect money for the two of their hand. Go Kodak and JVC together as sponsors. Oh wow. All African games. I don't forget. Is that the cook forget something? Please remind now us. Now that one, I like to think cause the first quarter between Obasanjo and Atiku. Huh. Atiku was the chairman that time of the local organizing committee. <laughs> see, let me tell you. Osh Poppy, they learn work. Ah! <laughs> Osh Poppy, they learn. See, I always tell people like the level of criminal. The only reason is why we so called educated Nigerians, we sit idly by, we let this happen because we believe one way or the other we will become beneficiaries of this largesse. You know, we see them and one day go reach my turn. I mean, because they say it's the poor people that do it, it's not the poor people, the poor people they will never get there. They're just striving to survive. It is we that we think we will get there. And you know, every year they pick like 10 of us, shine them in our eye, you know, give them that thing we're all looking for. Ah, this year will be my turn, this year will be my turn. <laughs> You know, it's ridiculous. The level of criminality, you know, is 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 at this stage they're like pickpockets. They are like pickpockets. You know, they they can anything yeah. business. From our petrol bed, we will run it here. If you remember clearly, our petrol cons local consumption has gone up in three months by this Nigerians are the brokers right now that I've ever seen there in my adult life. Yet petrol consumption has gone up by about 100 million liters. Are, are, are you not following the news on the now the uh, DPP said they're going to be tracking all 33,000 petrol stations as if those are the people that's where the petrol is being smuggled. They don't know they are the ones kind of government parastata has gone to collect double money from somebody. Uh, the the uh, duped one company. The company is used to, Nigeria is used to this kind of court case. Wow, that's terrible. We are used to it. The fact that this is done so glaringly in front of the world, you know, as if, well, this is what we're doing. You, you can't do anything about it because you can't hold us accountable. No, 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 no. These, these big companies can hey, we the citizens. I mean, mm. I, I say the citizens, the citizens are betrayed by those of us that are citizens that have the wherewithal. Mm. It is not, it's not the poor man that is trying to put one meal, not three meals, one meal on the table that will go and uh, politically liberate this country. It doesn't have the resources, it doesn't have the education. 
what we what he needs is for us to align with him do that leg work create that platform that he can align with to free him from the bondage that he is and we too we are in bondage we are acting as if we are living big life as if we are not all buying diesel every day as if dollar is not rising every day and destroying our income i mean people go to work in nigeria they are earning two hundred thousand naira a month what is that four hundred dollars and they have they're living in lekki building house at the same why why are they able to do all those kind of things it's because their guy is giving them some you know share of the loot that they are looting from the poor people of nigeria so everybody is okay i mean i can't be work, working for this kind of salaries in this country even if they are paying you five hundred thousand naira a month that's a thousand dollars a month what is that high school children will not work for that in america working in mcdonald's any uh, uh, eight dollars per hour paying adult people like this kind of and food prices rent everything is skyrocketing but we persevere why why do we rather persevere in this kind of hardship dehumanizing that, that we have to sell our soul you understand we destroy our souls to persevere mm. do things that are inhumane to persevere destroy our humanity to persevere instead of us to reclaim our humanity and liberate we are destroying our humanity to persevere why so that one day we can buy rose royce wait there now wait it's going to be you no problem <laughs> you, win. you win it's you you win i believe in you <laughs> good morning Hello. who's speaking and you good morning this is sebastian here hi sebastian how's it going uh good uh, what what would you do what you go to now so you don't talk to me uh, you see the thing is that the puma viewer was supposed to just be for recruitment and kissing right the only money that was supposed to exchange had was supposed to be for the artists now those artists have been deprived of that money because you have fashion and somebody feels that the one other person is going to collect money however the way they put us in this country at the moment uh, is really, really bad. That you will sit down every day, you keep asking yourself, how come that in 2016 or 20, uh, 2015, that dollar was like 180, and now it's five something. And here we are, sit down and look. Our politicians don't do their pocket. They don't they don't do their father with big pocket and they put the money inside. <laughs> it is well. This is well indeed. Alright, thank you very much. Lagos Talk. Wait, it is not well low. Wait, you people wait. It is not well low. Before we get into that, Lagos uh, Talk. It is Lagos not well low. <laughs> this it is well. How are you doing, my brother? Welcome to the show. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. My name is Victor. How are you doing, yeah, Victor? Welcome. Okay, this is that too much you. This is just that the you know the 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 I have a hello. Hey, then Nigeria. Yeah. They have the fashion. Mm -hmm. Now the the fashion that the girl that do the the minister don't like the fashion. Don't that fashion. That, that, that is the problem. It was the minister that ordered them not to wear it. Mm. And immediately ordered them not to wear it, knowing that there is consequences. So not wearing that thing. Probably because it's not the supporting, it's not the people that are people. The, 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 the people that are people, uh, uh, the international federation, uh, uh, the international body is recognized. Because of his own selfish interest, now look at what is going on um, in Nigeria. You will not be the one to pay now. Now you want to pay. After completing the rules, they are closed. You can imagine that they are embarrassed to compete for another pet. It is unfortunate to say, what do we do? We need to take on the battle. As I've said before, you know, I keep saying until we take on the battle. As I've said before, you know, I keep saying until we, the ones that have been able to raise our heads more. Mm -hmm. to afford some comfort with this oppression use that our extra uh, uh, extra income 
to organize on behalf of the people there nothing can change i mean until this uh, working professional working class and poor people have solidarity in nigeria that we yeah. see that we are going through the same thing under these people you know not instead of just look everybody's chasing waterfalls looking for windfall mm. largesse you know because you know it is it, it is too it is too it is too small to live in a lovely flat with your family and have two cars or no we must have 16 and we must have one house in lagos and paris and go to dubai and if we don't live that life mm -mm, you're not yet you are not successful you, are, you know so let's keep on going let's keep keeping on <laughs> but it is not well this let's agree that it is not well if you do say good morning if you are in chill please as the sports minister and athletic body both recognized both the recognized and factional <coughs> and illegal have they resigned must this government and their minister always rob Nigeria's name in the mud? Look at the way they threw away free money and kids and money that's supposed to have benefited and encouraged our athletes simply because of their selfish interests. I don't care about the money. Let me see who will accuse Twitter and the youth for putting Nigeria in, in a bad I don't really alliance. care. I don't even care who, uh, about the money. Things you cannot even make. You can't make it. Are you, trying, you can't make your own country's kids to the Olympics. Who are these big men in Nigeria? Who are these our billionaires? Who are these elites we always shake our phone and they put in newspaper? Who are these people? You cannot make kids for your athletes to go to Olympics. You don't have sport wear. I mean, see, listen, uh, let's say nobody should come and be telling me about this. Uh, this, this is what me I'm saying. Hmm. Maybe we're all interested in different things, you know. So maybe this is why nobody can ever like what I'm saying or yeah. like me or everybody is happy to hate me. And I'm cool with it. But I will not dance to this music. It's not sweet. No matter how loud you play it, no matter how much you put it in my face, if you like come and play it in my parlor, force me to listen. I will not dance. It's not sweet, eh? Me, <laughs> but uh -uh. just because you say it's sweet, it is not sweet. I will tell you people the fact. This is coming from me for my saying good morning, if you and Last week on the people's perspective, a listener wanted to know why Shion is called a doctor on the program's introductory advert. I believe that listener was referring to the word talk to Shion and Ifi. Oh, Oh, the person thought that he said Dr. Show and if No, he said talk it's to. It's talk to Show and if he talk to actually sounds like doctor unless you listen closely. Oh, well. Sounds up to you and Show. I'm, I'm a doctor. I'm a things. doctor of ancestral What's medicine. I'm a doctor of ancestral medicine. Can you display some of your expertise right here in that field? No, if if you have any problem, come and see me at home. What? <laughs> what? It... <laughs> I will take my time. To make sure Fantabulous. that I heal you Fantabulous. from within and without. All right, guys. <laughs> as we were saying, let's take this call. Let's talk. Good morning. Uh -uh. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh -uh. Hi. Is this the person is in the Please, park. can you turn Are you off time your traveling? radio or your whatever <laughs> it is that is replaying our show? Let's hear you well. Yes, I just did that. Hello, Big Bird. Hello, Ipi. Who is speaking? T from Italy. Hi, T. Mr. T from Italy. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. So, yeah, I mean, for me, regarding this issue, I, mean, I was playing the Olympics, right? And I'm just thinking that maybe this, aside like from political action, right? Maybe changing this name is the first step to the degradation. Mm. Because... I feel like, you know, something is coarse. From all the muscle pulls to the disqualification, and now this sponsorship, you know, uh, Wahala. No, there's, there's, there's more to it, man. Like, I, I, I just think the name of this, I just said by thinking the name of the country. No, 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 I don't think it's the name of, I don't think it's the name, Seth. I think what is wrong with us is also our own um, personal convictions that is actually external, right. that we think is internal, to hate each other. I think there's no love right. of mm. anything African, there's no love of the African man. Nobody loves African people. Even African people don't love they African love people. So this is the issue. This is just the issue. Because yeah. I do not even see why people should be successful and don't want to develop their nation. Even though you use criminality to amass the wealth. Okay, now I've amassed it. What do I want to do with this world the most? Consume. I mean, that is the worst. That is the worst part of it. And, and you can't even you can't consume <coughs> away freedom, right? Exactly. You know. You know. So that for me, I don't even think Nigeria. I think the people that rule Nigeria. When when we look at it, if we follow the history, we find out that we are ruled by those 
descendants of African slave traders. Mm. Immediately we can realize that Africa is ruled today by the descendants of those that decided to sell their people to Europeans for things and work with Europeans to kill every African and displace every African that fought against that system. Once we the people realize that it is those people and their descendants, it's that spirit that is still in power, then what is happening in Africa, not only in Nigeria, will make sense. We will see why our leaders are willing to make these deals that exploit their people, that lead to the detriment of their anything that they are and those are that's where their loyalties lie and that is really right. at the core of what is wrong with africa you know for me i don't think it's the name i don't, I don't think it is i think it is because we are ruled by self-hate that's it hmm. all right now uh, this is coming from jude saying is algeria totally out of hands the way tau tarat and obtain people on bikes i'm not really sure that's what we're talking about jude so let's just, you know, stick with today's topic. This is coming from Charles saying the kits worn by participants at the Tokyo Olympics were made in Nigeria. You know, people have used that as a defense saying that since it's made in Nigeria, you know, this is further promoting made in Nigeria. However, we forget that there was an actual existing contract that was signed uh, um, in 2019. And clearly because of the disconnect between the powers that be there is a disconnect hence the reason why one faction is saying well we don't recognize that and another faction is saying well let's you know push for by nigeria and there is a confusion and guess what it is are we or is it adidas we are uh -huh, this, no, this is a power play you see the fact of it is this it is not about the development of our uh by nigeria brand because if they were trading in buy nigeria they wouldn't be negotiating with puma just two years ago by Nigeria would have been part of the Olympic plan. I mean, uh, now this year we don't the go Olympics. Olympic hold every four years. If you're going to kit yourself, you know you're going to kit yourself before four years. Not using uh, 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 the athlete's kit as some kind of power power play. Mm -hmm. If Nigeria football team had qualified for that Olympics, it is Nike would have still won there. If there was no power play, Puma has paid money and they've collected the money. Why did they collect money? They wanted to steal Puma's money to make Nigerian athletics clothes. <laughs> Let's take this Lagos talk. Alright, we lost that one. It's 11. picture call please let's go straight to the point because we're about to run out of time all right okay uh, so, good afternoon to you how are you doing i woke up so splenetic and very so much downtrodden when i saw that since our independence in date they are our leaders have said five for our country billion dollars you know that oh god i i work for this country the only thing i don't know i don't know it, well, according to what you said before they are using the middle class the, at least the, the we that are a bit educated that once in a while they come and shine some glittering things into our eyes give us a position i will smile hello we we'll smile with our sorrow until we go align with the with the um, average Nigeria, the people, the bottom, the people at the bottom, the poor people, the people that are, that are not educated. We have an affinity with them. We affiliate with them. That's the that's the best. That's the only way we can eradicate this madness called leadership. 
Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Lagos Talks, good morning. Who's speaking? Yeah, good morning. Who's speaking, please? Sorry, okay. I just want to say one thing. Nebuka, they talk. Nebuka hey, made it you, again. My name. I tell you now. I just want to say, Ibu, all the people who are not the one of the land, I hear you. If he is a sweet. If he's not firefly, not butterfly. This is firefly now. They don't give you another name today. They say dragonfly, but I don't want to talk about it. No, I don't say that. There's competition. There's competition. Maybe that you won't dragonfly. be flying. Dragonfly? Now you won't be no, flying. No, I'm not that aggressive. <laughs> now you won't I be like firefly. I like firefly. I like butterfly, but dragonfly, no. It's for, you don't like butterfly. You don't like firefly. Okay, sorry. I like firefly. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. It's 11.59. It's time to say goodbye, Sean. Thank you so much, everyone, who was a part of today's edition of the people's perspective we're one but we're going to be having a special episode next week friday of course to celebrate our one year on air uh <laughs> one year <laughs> i'm not a radio veteran i'm a veteran of the radio for one year Shimon. yes now nah. i mean yeah. you release one album you're a legend ah! <laughs> one year on radio i'm a veteran please <laughs> anyways guys it's 12 it's time for the world news to come on show before saying goodbye anyone yeah uh lagos driver as usual i know i'll tell you please give him a safe road give him a safe road let's have peace on the roads of lagos at least until i get home now from this <laughs> sure. and you can follow me on instagram big bird Cutie, facebook